It's prim primarily through sexual contact that this thing has spread, and these two guys gave it to their dog. Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that Matt Walsh is at it again. Now, I'm going to explain why Matt's attempt to baselessly accuse a random gay couple of molesting their dog is so absurd. But first, I'm Brad Palumbo, a libertarian conservative gay political commentator, and if you're new here, consider sticking around. Subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, comment, yada yada yada. And now, let's hear more of what Matt had to say exactly. This does put a little bit of a different light on uh, some other recent monkeypox related stories, like this one, for example, from The Hill. You remember this? It says a medical journal has published evidence of the first suspected case of human to pet transmission of the monkeypox virus. A dog living with two men in France who were infected with the virus began ex exhibiting symptoms 12 days after they did. The four year old male Italian greyhound which had no previous medical disorders, tested positive after showing symptoms such as lesions and postules on its abdomen. Now, at the time, the two uh, gay men, apparently, who somehow passed monkeypox onto their dog, they said that it was because they were co-sleeping with the dog. They had the dog in bed. But now the public health authorities are telling us that uh, just skin to skin, or in this case, skin to fur contact, that's not enough. It is primarily through, I don't know. I mean, how do we connect these dots? Do I need to spell it out? It's prim primarily through sexual contact that this thing is spread, and these two guys gave it to their dog. So first, a kind of primer here, Matt is not wrong that experts are starting to believe that the current outbreak of monkeypox in the U.S. Uh, may primarily be being spread among gay men and through sexual contact. But the key word there is primarily. There's still lots of other ways monkeypox can be spread. And the story that he cites from NBC News on this actually quotes several experts saying, hang on a sec, we're not really sure if it's all sexual or if it's skin to skin or what the exact balance is. Monkeypox is not a new virus. It's been around for a long time and it can spread in a myriad of ways. This current outbreak is just focusing mostly in one community, the gay community, and through sexual contact right now, it seems. But that's not the only way that monkeypox can spread. According to the Mayo Clinic, monkeypox can also spread through direct contact with rashes, scabs, or bodily fluids of a person with monkeypox. It can also be spread through clothes, sheets, blankets, or other materials that have been in contact with those rashes or with the fluids of a person who is sick. And it's not actually unusual for animals to have monkeypox. According to the CDC, it's regularly found in all sorts of animals, hence actually the name. Yet Matt jumps to assume that this dog got the disease because his gay owners ripped him. Which sounds more likely to you, that this dog got sick because he was sitting on his owner's lap and he was sick, or from sharing a bed and blankets or something like that, or because his owners molested him? Now some sick people do sexually abuse animals in the world, but that seems far less likely than some sort of everyday transmission happening here. In fact, in this case, we even have strong evidence proving that it's almost certainly not been sexually transmitted to this dog. You see, this dog was actually medically examined and a case study was published in the journal The Lancet. They found that he had monkeypox on his stomach and also on his anus. The most likely explanation for this is that he got it from laying or from blankets on his stomach and then dogs lick themselves and he got it elsewhere. Because most importantly, the medical examination of this dog, they even have images, shows zero evidence of sexual abuse. The dog was an Italian greyhound, which averages about 11 pounds. A tiny dog. I'm going to spare you guys the details, but if two adult men abused a dog that small, there would be massive damage. There would be tearing. There would be many, many signs of that abuse, none of which were found or reported in the case study and medical examination of this dog. But hey, don't let those pesky facts stop you from smearing some random gay couple as animal
Thanks, Matt. Seriously, what a horrific thing to accuse somebody of baselessly and without due diligence. The truth is, Matt Walsh has contempt and disgust for gay people. It's obvious. It, it radiates from his commentary. He won't hesitate for a second to paint gay people as sexual predators or deviants in any sort of narrative, all the facts aside, because that confirms his prior biases and apparently riles up a portion of his base audience. But going so far down that rabbit hole that you end up accusing random people of animal abuse baselessly? Well, that's a sad excuse for political commentary, journalism, or whatever it is exactly that Matt Walsh does. Alright folks, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, yada yada, comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you all in the next video.